Hello everyone, so I'm back with another video on this channel and in today's video we are going to cover a frontier engineering interview question which is asked in Techion. So the question is like this, we need to create a timer input with button. When click on the button, the timer should start decreasing till zero and then we have another timer called create timer. When click on which the timer should create a new timers and all of them could reset to zero and multiple timers can exit. So just to give you a demo, this is how the actual output looks like. So let's just say I give input 10 and if I hit start, the input should start decreasing from 10 till zero. In the meantime, if I click on create timer button, a new timer will get created at that instance of the timer uh, value and the new timer will also reduce to zero. For example, if we start from 10, we hit start and we, if we create multiple timers, then all those timers should start at that instance of time and they should all get reset to zero. So this is what the problem statement looks like. And in input, we have an input with type text, the ID input time, a button with start add button ID, a create timer button, and the actual output needs to be in the timer step. So with that in mind, let's start off with the question for the day. So firstly, what we need to do is we need to get the input value. So we'll write input element is equal to document dot get element by id and this will be the input time value then we create a reference to the button element so we'll write start timer button or just start timer is equal to document dot get element by id the timer button now we need to have a click list now on the start button so we'll write start timer dot add event listener and this will be click and we'll add a function here now on click of this function what we will do is we will first take the timer value that is the input value so let's create an instance for this value so let input value is equal to dot uh, input well input element dot value now we are keeping this outside the timer add event listener because we are going to use it in multiple places now we will initialize a timer with const timer is equal to set interval the timer function and this should update every second. Now within this timer value what we need to do is if the input value is greater than equal to zero then reduce the input value by one. and the input element dot value should be set to the input value. Now we also need to have a change handler because the input value needs to be updated. It will be taken at the first element of the value and we need a reference to update it regularly. So what we'll do is we'll add input element dot add event listener and this will be change again there will be a function and within this function what we will do is the input value is equal to input element dot value so we will whenever the value changes we will update the value here as well now this value could be a string so we will go with a percent method and we will change this input value to the base of 10 that is the integer value and i think that should be enough to start the timer let's just see let's open the console and check if we have any issues so on line number three the element spelling is wrong let's correct it and i don't think there is any other error now so let's start off with 10 and check whether the timer decreases 
So as you can see, the timer is started decreasing. Now the next thing that we need to do is we need to create multiple timers and click off this create timer button. So we'll write const. Now this is going till minus one. We don't want that. So what we will do is we will add a else. Here we will clear the interval. And this timer will get cleared when the input value is greater than zero. So let's check again. So we write 10 or just dummy value like three and it gets reduced to three. So, okay. Let's remove the code and start the timer again. So on click of three, so the value goes till zero and stops. Similarly, what we need to do is we now need to take the create timer button. So we'll write const create timer is equal to document dot get element by ID create timer. Now on click of this button, we need to add an event listener. So create timer dot add event listener. And here we will add click listener. Again, there will be a function. Now on click of these functions, we need to do something in the timers div. So we'll write const timers is equal to document dot get element by id timers now what we need to do is we need to initialize a div element so this will be timer element or new timer element let's have a function called as create timer create new timer let's just say now let's define the function so we'll write function create a new timer within this function we'll add another new timer so this new timer will have dot will have set interval method again this will be till interval of one millisecond now within this new timer what we need to do is we need to first take the current input value so we will write const current timer is equal to the input value so whatever the input value will be that will be the initial value of this timer now if current timer is greater than or equal to zero then current timer should be reduced by one then we need to create a div element in which we will store this value. So we'll write const new timer element is equal to document dot create element. So there is a method called as create element in JavaScript, which is used to create elements like this. So we can create the elements and we can append some value and then append the element to some div in the page so we'll write create element and this will be a div element then what we'll do is we'll write here new timer element dot inner text is equal to let's just say timer and the current timer value something like this and if the timer has been zero then we'll clear the timer so we'll use clear interval and we'll clear out the new timer method now we will return the new timer element And now we have the new timer element here. So what we need to do is we just need to append it to the timers div. So timers div is defined using the timers method. So what we'll do is timers dot append child. So append child is another JavaScript method which is used to append. 
so we will write new timer element and see now let's just see what we have so we have a syntax error at 33 uh, let's just check i think it is good so let's start the timer with 10 now it is 9 then we click on create timer and we have an error which is assignment to const variable on line number 26 so current timer should be defined with let value let's restart our code with 10 start then create timer and as you can see we have a timer element and if we click on create timer again multiple timer elements will get created all will be reduced and reset to zero so they are reducing to minus one so what we can do is we can remove this greater than equal to and check again so let's start this value with five and start the timer and let's create multiple timers and as you can see they are now resetting to zero so this is what the overall code of this interview question was and i will share this in the description in the code pen link and this is how you can solve the timer questions we pass in front end interview question rounds i hope you got the gist of how to set interval using the set interval method how to create child using the create child method or create element method and how to append child using the append child method so that's it from my end for today thank you and have a nice day goodbye